We just competed in one of the most intense ride challenges ever in Disney World. So intense, we forgot to film our intro. You're the best. I get nervous. And now you've been petted. And now I think I lost Sage. Emma! Sage! Rewind the clock. Already, I am behind. Because per your request, we decided to take two different strategies as opposed to uh, starting at the same park. We're starting at different parks. Uh, so uh, Emma took Animal Kingdom. Uh, and I took Hollywood Studios. Now Animal Kingdom opens at 8 o'clock and Hollywood Studios opens at 9 o'clock, which means already she has a head start. I'm sure she's already in line for one, maybe multiple rides. I'm running late, which is not great, um, but we're gonna do well. I'm really excited. I'm doing a new strategy today that I have never done, and I know it's not what Sage is doing, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna go but I'm excited. It's gonna be a great day. And it's 45 this morning, which is fairly cold for Orlando. So, wasn't super prepared for that. But my strategy today, we'll talk about it more in a little bit, but my strategy today is we're gonna start at Hollywood Studios, get as much done as we can here, then we're gonna park hop to Animal Kingdom, but then we're gonna park hop back to Hollywood Studios at the end of the day to finish out anything that we didn't complete. But first, let's get into the park. We finally made it into the park. It is 8.01, which is not our desired goal but sometimes things happen and that's okay you just have to adjust now i was going to buy uh the avatar flight of passage individual lightning lane i'm not going to do that anymore because it's all the way down to three o'clock and it is literally eight o'clock right now so i don't plan on being here at eight it feels like a waste of money and i'm not going to rope drop it because i am not on time for it in the way that i want it to be so we're going to attempt navi river journey and see how that goes. Morning. This has literally never happened to me before because I happen to be really early because I know I'm already losing to Emma, but I made it to the physical rope drop. This, I'm first in line. Other than early entry, this is, this is me. Uh, this is a big deal for me, y'all. Nailing it. It said, 10 when I got over here on the app. It's now saying 25 in person. I'm gonna ask the cast member just because I walked all the way over here, like, do you really think it's gonna take 25? And if they say yes, we're leaving because we don't have time. And the and only advantage we have right now is I think Sage is starting later at Hollywood Studios. So I don't wanna waste this time. This is really interesting. Uh, Slinky Dog Dash is already down. We do have a lightning lane for that later on today. But Star Wars Rise of the Resistance is also down, which means the other lines are slowly about to creep up. Uh, Slinky Dog was up earlier today, but uh, and Alien Twilling Saucer was only a 20 minute wait. But once Slinky Dog Dash went down, Alien Twilling Saucers went up to a 45 minute wait. So we need to make it to Tower of Terror really, really quickly and hope these other lines um, start to open back up. Okay, she said it really would take about 25. I'm not wasting my time. I already wasted a little bit walking over here, but I think, I don't know. I literally couldn't sleep last night trying to come up with strategies for today, but I don't think I came up with any good ones other than just show up and try my best. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so supposedly to meet our favorite adventurer pals, Mickey and Minnie is only 15. That will get significantly higher. And my goal for today is to stack lightning lanes for the afternoon. So I really don't want to waste any here. And so it's now or never for those two. And they count double. So let's start with Mickey and Minnie, I guess. Mickey and Minnie don't always do meet and greets together per se, but they do here and in Hollywood Studios. And then sometimes in Epcot, but for the most part, this is gonna be a really fun and exciting experience. Here we are. Hopefully it won't take long, fingers crossed. It looks empty, so. Morning, how are you today? Doing good? Oh, I'm, it's all right. Can we do a hot Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Had to start my morning off with both of you, of course. This is the only way to start your day. Is that all right? <laughs> Lots of adventures. Oh, you like my ears too? I went with a classic Minnie Mouse look. I figured it would be a good way because it's cold outside, so I wanted to do something simple, you know. <laughs> Can we take a photo together? We met Mickey and Minnie, and on, <laughs> also, you may have noticed, or you may not have, I don't know if you can tell, so I'm gonna expose myself in case you can't. I have a big old pimple patch on today, and it's because it hurts and everyone gets pimples and you need a pimple patch. Highly recommend this is not an ad. I just, I like a pimple patch. But now it's gonna be in all my photos, and that's okay. My gut is telling me that I need to go do dinosaur and triceratops spin to be back here from Moana at nine. 
I really would like to rope drop Moana. She's a super popular character. So if you don't do that, it's normally a pretty long wait. And I might give up. I don't know. I'm really struggling with the fact that I'm probably not going to do anything in Pandora. And I also might not do Kilimanjaro. I don't know. I'm struggling. Struggling. Okay. I, you're shocked, I know. But there's no line for Triceratops spin so early in the morning. Very excited. This one's like a Dumbo-esque ride. You just fly high in the sky. And I'm gonna hop in line for it, I guess. Now I will say, you're probably like, Emma, this is not a good rope drop strategy. And you're right, but I'm not trying to maximize Animal Kingdom. I'm just trying to maximize how many people I get to see and things I get to do. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this strategy in this exact way. If you're just doing Animal Kingdom, I would have said, stay in River Journey. You know, do River Journey, do Flight of Passage grab Kilimanjaro and then do characters. But I'm trying to maximize here, people. Here we go. Me and one other family on <laughs> time Triceratops spin. I think this is incredibly very funny. It's very cold up here. A girl, her pimple patch, and a dream. And Triceratops spin. I think we're gonna make this the shortest wait right now. We're gonna rope drop Tower of Terror. It's currently 45 minutes. And then uh, hopefully by that time, uh, the other attractions will uh, be back up and we will, uh, and, and it'll start to even things out a bit. The Tower of Terror is a drop tower attraction where you are not just dropped, you are pulled literally into the twilight zone. What I mean by pulled is that uh, you are actually dropping faster than the weight of gravity to give you a really cool weightless feeling uh, that really, you know, um, furthers the twilight zone concept that it's not just gravity it's more than gravity i would say looking at this line it is definitely a longer wait now i don't know what that wait means we got the line at 905 and uh doesn't seem to be moving a whole lot which means hollywood studios is an absolute disaster this morning here we are this is dinosaur if you've never been on this one it's a little bit scary uh it's a dark indoor ride that takes you back to the time of the dinosaurs because you're trying to find an iguanodon but unfortunately you might find something that's a little bit bigger than an iguanodon don't want to spoil it though but just be aware of the warnings and take them kind of seriously because I know many adults and children alike who do not enjoy this one. So we're gonna hop on though. It has become one of my favorites. And within the next few years, it's going to be rethemed. Disney has not quite said to what yet, but they've implied Indiana Jones, which is very exciting for me. It's my favorite ride in Disneyland. And I know some people have said like, no, it's already in Disneyland, I don't want it here. But there's a lot of people who will never, ever, ever be able to go to Disneyland, but they might be able to come here. So I'm very excited for the prospect of that. Because if you're gonna retheme it, at least make it something exciting. Hello there. It's truly a Christmas miracle. It's only been 15 minutes and now we are inside of the lobby of the Tower of Terror. Uh, typically where the Disney stops the posted wait time uh, is where they split, uh, where they divvy people up before the pre-show. So if you're looking at a wait time, uh, you'll know that wait time is only from the beginning of the line until the pre-show. So now, pre-show, boiler room, and then I think we'll be out of here by maybe, I want to say 9.35. It's not bad. Here we go. dinosaur got three things off our list it's still taking me longer than I would have liked but I also just need to calm down so it's gonna be fine now I think I'm gonna do triceratops spin just to get it over and done with and we don't have to necessarily come back well we'll probably come back to this area to meet characters but get that out of the way and then hop in line for Moana hopefully a little bit early a minute early but look at that did I call it or what 934 Let's keep trucking. We're gonna have to check some wait times because Slinky Dog Dash and Rise of the Resistance, they are both still down, which means the uh, the lines everywhere else are just because there's 
you know, there's a lot to do at Hollywood Studios, but as far as attractions, there are, there's only so many. It's not like Magic Kingdom where there are, you know, a gajillion uh, different attractions, filler attractions. I think the best route of action, potentially, is to um, hop on Star Tours real quick, uh, and then start meeting a bunch of characters until we can book our next lightning lane. This morning at 7 a.m., which is the earliest uh, you can book a lightning lane for both resort guests and not resort guests. I booked uh, Slinky Dog Dash, which is typically something we would rope drop, but because we have access to Genie Plus and individual lightning lanes, I thought I would rather uh, rope drop uh, something a little easier and rope drop a couple more attractions uh, like Tower of Terror and potentially Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. At the time of filming, Rock and Roller Coaster is down, so we're gonna keep on trucking through, uh, which is why I got Slinky Dash for one o'clock today, which will probably be the last thing we do until we hop over to uh, Animal Kingdom. But I did not anticipate having two of their e-ticket attractions down, uh, which definitely is making the other lines much longer. I love your outfit today. You're looking very warm. <laughs> it's very, warm. right? It's chilly today. You're probably not used to the colder weather either, so. No, no, no. Yeah. Exactly to me, it's very warm. <laughs> of course. It looks perfect. I really love it. We go on lots of countries, and when we visit these New Orleans, it's an adjustment, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, met Milana. She was so nice and wonderful, and I love meeting her. It took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's totally okay. All right, Star Tours, 25 minutes. Hmm, I don't think it's actually 25 minutes, but that's okay. We're gonna. It's definitely the shortest line here. We're trying to make the most of our rope drop time. Star Tours is a motion simulator attraction and they call it a highly turbulent simulator type thrill ride through space that includes sharp turns and sudden drops. Now within this attraction, you're gonna find uh, basically uh, another randomizing situation similar to Tower of Terror, but this time they're randomizing the story. You might get different scenes from, uh, you know, the original trilogy, maybe the prequel, uh, maybe even uh, the newer editions with Kylo, uh, you know, Ray, Poe, all that jazz. It's a lot of fun because no matter what, you're gonna be taking on some sort of uh, Star Wars adventure and you never know what you're gonna get. Okay, so now it looks like Kilimanjaro Safaris is up to, I think it said 35. So I'm not gonna do it for now. That gives me a lot of anxiety, but I don't know. <laughs> Just, I feel like in my gut, it's not the right decision. So we met Moana. And frankly, I would be surprised if Sage does that later. She does not have a lightning lane, but has a very long line. So I'm gonna kind of bank on him doing certain things that maybe I'm skipping, like getting that individual lightning lane to fly to passage, but not doing Moana. So hopefully we'll even out. Right now I've got about 25 minutes. Oh, I've got about 25 minutes until the other characters start meeting, so. I think I'm gonna go do single rider on Everest and then circle back to Dino Land, grab some characters, and maybe start looking at some show times. Also, huge win for me, but Cali River Rapids is actually closed right now for um, refurbishment, so I don't have to ride it. And I don't have to feel bad about not riding it either. So, huge win personally. Here we go, Expedition Everest. This is a really fun outdoor coaster that takes you up into the mountains and small spoiler, don't listen if you don't want to hear it, but you're going to find a Yeti. Oh my gosh, I just tripped and it scared me so bad. You're going to find a Yeti. Now, there are not tons of single rider lines throughout Disney World and some of them aren't the best. I'm looking at you, rock and roller coaster, but this one is a really good one and normally works super well and there's only two people in line right now. So I feel confident in this. This is the real test if this is gonna stay on my face. I think no. Another uh, solid situation uh, it was only 15 minutes 15 minutes uh, we got in line at 942 it is now 1007 so 15 minutes plus the actual uh, you know attraction 1007 uh, so not bad but rise the resistance and slinky dog dash they are still 
down. I think now is the time we're going to uh, do some of the really quick attractions like Vacation Fun. We're gonna go meet some characters. We're gonna start racking up those points. We've done a bunch of attractions. Now we need to start booking some lightning lanes. Vacation Fun is an original animated short starring Mickey and Minnie. Uh, it's basically a montage of some of the Mickey shorts that you can find on Disney Plus uh, combined into a new short uh, where Mickey is reminiscing about all the times he has traveled the globe. He, he went on vacation, uh, went on date nights with Minnie uh, as he prepares to go to vacation uh, to Disney World. It's a super cute short. It's only about 10 minutes and there's some fun uh, photo ops at the, at the uh, end of the attraction. So uh, this is zero minutes until the next show. So let's go see it. Hopped off of uh, Everest. Lots of fun. I really, really love that one. It's been my favorite for a long time. One of my favorites. Um, now we're kind of at a weird like in between. Characters start meeting in about 13 minutes, which is like a weird amount of time to kind of waste. But there's no shows until at least 10, so we've got about 30 minutes until that. When the only other thing that makes sense for me right now is maybe hopping on the Wildlife Express and heading over and doing the petting zoom. I really want to focus on things that I can do quickly rather than things that eat up a lot of time, like Kilimanjaro, so I don't know how many of the shows I'm going to do either. I'm thinking maybe two, two or three. Okay, so I was gonna head over to Donald, but Goofy is out here today, which he isn't always, but he has a line, and the only stipulation for something to count is that it has to have a line. So no roaming characters like Kevin, but old Goofy's got a line, so I'm gonna hop in. Hey, Goofy, how are you today? You, you're doing good? I'm doing great, yeah. I mean, I'm seeing you, so of course I'm doing great. <laughs> Boom, uh, Mickey's uh, vacation fun, done. Celebrity Spotlight, 30 minutes. I don't think I have the time for it. Uh, so we're gonna go to Pixar Place. Uh, I've gotta make a little kind of roundabout way to get there. Uh, Pixar Place, that's where they're gonna have uh, some characters out. We're talking uh, Frozone, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, Sully. Potentially Edna, depending on wow, what her line is like. We gotta start knocking down these points before we can uh, make our next lightning lane because, again, Slinky Dog Dash and Rise of the Resistance, they're both still down. Everything is just in, in a, a bonkers wait. We're talking 75, 80 minutes plus. So let's meet some characters before we can start making more lightning lanes. And we might actually hop to Animal Kingdom sooner than we anticipated. So just met Goofy, so cute. I'm very excited. I don't get to, I feel like I don't see Goofy a lot. I see him a lot in Magic Kingdom over at Pete's Silly Sideshow, but I just don't, I don't know, we're just not chatting all the time. So always happy to chat with Goofy. Now we have about a minute and a half until Donald comes out. So that worked out perfectly. I don't feel like we wasted time and I can go ahead and hop in line for him. And there's only two families in line, maybe three. So wins, wins, wins. Hey Donald, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Do you mind if we take some pictures together? I've seen Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy so far, but you're the best. No question, of course, yeah. All right, we made it to Pixar Place. Looks like Frozone is leaving to go check on a super suit or something like that, but he'll be back soon. Edna mode is only 15 minutes. Uh, I just asked the cast member, Frozone is gonna be back in five minutes, so we get, let's, uh, let's use this time wisely, and we'll get in line to see Double Whammy, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. We get a point for each. Hello! Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, yes, oh, I love it. Nice to meet you. Hi, good to see you, how are you? So, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm in the middle of a, of a game with some friends. Yeah, it's a game. And part of the game is uh, to see how many things we can do in one day. Because you guys are the dynamic duo, you guys count as two points. So, I, you're, you're putting me in the lead here. I gotta, I gotta thank you for that. Donald, check. And I am so mad at myself. I cut the camera off too early, but he made me pinky promise that he was my favorite. And I'm gonna pinky promise everyone there, they're my favorites because they're all my favorites. Except Mickey's probably my number one favorite, but I won't tell anyone that, and it's not banking my pinky promise. So, 
Now time for Daisy. Hi Daisy, how are you? Doing good? I'm pretty good too. I've seen Goofy so far and Donald and Mickey and Minnie, but you made them all look incredible so you're the best one to see. That was so sweet uh, as I told them that, you know, uh, meeting them counts as two points and they said, well, what about Jack-Jack? There are three Jack-Jacks here. To, did they count as, uh, or no, four Jack-Jacks. Did, did they count as points? And uh, I don't think they do, but you know, uh, just so, you know, I, I told them, of course your son counts. That's fine. So we're gonna meet in Frozen real quick and uh, keep on rocking. So I'm, I'm playing a game with some friends uh, and the, the game was to do as many things as you can today. Uh, and because I decided to meet, I met your friend, Mr. Mrs. Incredible, so that was two points, you're a point, so I think I'm in the lead now because of you, so, so I'm, yeah, I'm just saying thank you. So can we take a picture? Okay, now, let's see if anybody's back here. I think Chip and Dale should be here soon. I'm gonna check the times, but I'm like 90% sure. Hi friends, how are you guys today? You look amazing, of course, always. Is this your favorite color, purple and green? Probably, I like that combo. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. So I've got, a, I've got a thing, I'm gonna tell you something, if that's okay. Um, so I'm playing a game with my friends and we're, uh, we're seeing uh, who can do the most uh, today and one of, one of them is meeting you. So basically, basically you're, you're, you're helping me win. It's a big deal. You, you and me, man, we're, 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 we're gonna win the whole game. I know, so can we take a picture, is that, would that be okay? Met the boys, chick and chick. Now I think I'd love to go do maybe a show if there's a one that lines up well. I think Feathered Friends in Flight is fairly soon. Um, and I'm hungry, so I might get a snack and go sit in there and chow down. Five minutes. I don't think we have a choice. I, I, it's, I, I literally don't know, do not think we have a choice. It's literally a walk-on. Look at that. For the most part, it's a walk-on. So cute. Look at all these. Uh, you got Jack Jack with an Edna wig on. All these great costumes designed by the one and only Edna Mode. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, wow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. I mean, you are, you are the Edna Mode. Um, I, yes, you look wonderful. I was wondering if you, if you had any advice for me. I mean, I'm, I'm usually in the black pants and the white shoes and... It's giving, right? It's giving cake. But I love a good cake. No, no, no capes? No capes. Wait, even just for like, just like, what it, before I go into action, I'll just rip off the cape. I mean, it's no. Like for a moment, but... no, no capes. All right, I, I understand. Okay, 15 minutes until the show. Nothing else to do, so grabbing yak and yeti breakfast. Okay, I'm precariously balancing my hash browns and fruit salad because yak and yeti actually has some really great breakfast options. Um, if you want to know more about breakfast in Disney World in general, we have a full guide up on the channel right now. But I'm going with these two right now, and we're gonna sit down for feathered friends in flight. I'm gonna sit here in the back so I can eat in peace and not get in anyone's way and make them small hash browns. But if you've never seen Feathered Friends in Flight, it's a really incredible show. One of my favorites here in Animal Kingdom that teaches you all about how they're training the animals here in Disney World and why they stay. And they show you some really cool tricks and talk a lot about protecting these animals. So highly, highly, highly recommend it. These are my favorite hash browns, I think in Disney World. They're so good, they're so flavorful, there's so many herbs. Really highly recommend and also, if you're sick of this, I'm sorry, but it's still here. I was nervous chewing, but you know what? It's holding on. If we had a successful uh, Pixar Palace, like a uh, rush, I'll call it a rush, uh, um, a Hail Mary, if you will, uh, early morning Hail Mary, we met one, two, three, four, five, five characters. Uh, I grabbed uh, the earliest I could find, uh, I modified it even a bunch of times. It went, I had 11.50, I modified all the way down to 11.30, which is in 10 minutes. So uh, we're gonna do alien swirling saucers. Uh, we'll get that out of the way. We're going to, uh, while we're in line, we're gonna book our next one. It really depends if Navi River Journey has gone uh, pretty late. I don't think it has. Last time I looked, there were some even for 11.20, but then it shot up all the way to 3.40. But even then, that's okay, because I don't think we're gonna park up until maybe 2.30 or 3. And bad news, in the time I was meeting Edna Mo, which was maybe a 30 second to a minute interaction, Rise the Resistance went up and uh, individual lightning lanes were gone. Absolutely gone, which means I don't think I'm gonna put Rise the Resistance on my radar at all for the rest of the day. 
Uh, it is a longer experience, which could take up a lot. It could, it might be the very, the very last thing I do at the end of the night. Even then, I think we can make better use of our time just because it is a longer experience, not including the uh, 80, 120 minute wait, whatever it would be. Hopping on alien throwing saucers. This one's for you, Fry. Uh, I think we're gonna get... I haven't heard you've got a friend of me in a while. I just heard when somebody loved me. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say you've got a friend of me. I heard, I heard oh, or maybe Strange Things. You know, I'm gonna get Strange Things. That's the song I'm going for. Oh my gosh, it was You've Got a Friend in Me. I should have gone with my instinct. Always go with your instincts. Let's give Henry one more round of applause for being our Disney World Pass. Feather Friends in Flight, so good, so wonderful. Now I think I'm gonna probably head and do the Wildlife Express train, and it's time to make my next lightning lane for Hollywood Studios. So we're kind of wrapping up here, I think. We're gonna head towards Rafiki's Planet Watch, and we're gonna take the Wildlife Express to get there, which is on our list, very exciting. And then that's gonna take us to the Conservation Station, where there's actually two activities we could do, but I think I might only do one. Again, I feel I'm like nervous to skip these shows, but I want to spend more time in Hollywood Studios than here. So I think that's how we're going to do that. Welcome aboard the Wildlife Express with service to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Yeah. Ign Ignite the spark! Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I, I, sh I should, but I, I wanted to come and say hi to you. It's good to see you, brother. Good to see you. You, you do some nice, nice. Good to see you. You, uh, you enjoy the you enjoy the galaxy, all right, man. I miss you every day, brother. Bye, guys. That made me like stupid emotional. You know, it's funny. Ever since the Galactic like, Star Cruiser closed, I still can't watch Star Wars movies. Um, it was just such a part of my life for so long, and then when it went when it went away, it just like it just makes me feel sad that I can't live in that world anymore and play with those people. <sighs> that made me sad. I hope something like it comes back in in the in the future, but just the family was just unreal. Just seeing ignite the spark to Chewbacca and and the reaction Chewbacca had to me was just. <sighs> I miss my space friends and family. If you're watching, together as one. Let's just go this way. Let's go. I should probably mention what I'm doing. I am in the single rider line for Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Uh, I knew this was going to be an easy get because the single rider line is always incredibly short. I've never waited more than five minutes in the single rider line. This standby line is currently 110 minutes and we are about to do a walk on. We made it. Conservation Station. We've arrived. So you can do the animation experience over here. The next show is in about... 15-ish uh, minutes, but it's a 20-ish minute show, so I'm debating on if I'm going to do it, but while I'm debating, I think I'm going to head into the petting zoo, because this is also on our list of things we get to do, and this is a lot of fun. Affection section. So here it is. This is the affection section. It's super fun. Now they do ask that you don't touch the animals on their faces, of course, but you can find a lot of different animals back through here. They have goats and sheep and what looks like a, a huge, I keep trying to say the word cattle, that's not the right word, but they'll have donkeys and pigs and lots of fun stuff. So let's see if we can have some affection in this section. They also have brushes if you do want to brush some of the animals. I am really here, need for speed, so I don't know that I'm gonna brush today, but I would like to pet one. Hi friend, can I give you a pet? I'm gonna pet you. And now you've been petted. Successfully petted a goat. I feel like a winner today. And I think I've decided no against animation because I will say like, as far as maximizing your time, sometimes you are gonna choose to skip those shows if you have different priorities. For me, I could do two things while one show is happening. So that's kind of where my mind is at right now. Um, ideally, obviously. But I'm thinking I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna do Tough to be a Bug, and then I think it's time to head over to Studios, so that way we have ample time to do some characters and rides. And we've started stacking lightning lanes. I've got two under my belt right now. 
and then we're gonna see what happens. All right, the kid's uh, <laughs> the kid driving didn't didn't do as bad as I thought he would. There's nothing wrong with the kid pilot, but surprisingly, uh, the game can be kind of difficult because it is. It is a video game, not just a motion simulator. So if you're not paying attention to where you're supposed to go, listening to the instructions that Hondo Naka is giving you, it can be kind of crazy. So good on you, child pilot. I think it's time for us to get out of Galaxy's Edge. We're gonna head towards Animation Courtyard and probably go meet some characters until it's time. Hopefully Emma's on our way here. Grab some quick lunch. Because I think, I believe we have a full hour until our Slinky Dog Dash. Uh, lightning lane. All right, here we go. We hopped off of the train. We are making our way back towards the tree of life. We are gonna do It's Tough to Be a Bug. And then I think that might be it for me here. I'm skipping three rides and I believe two shows with this decision. I don't love that, but it, at this point it is what it is. <laughs> so we'll see. I still have the advantage of I had extra park time over him, but because of my decisions and my being a tad bit late, probably didn't work out as good as it could have. And sometimes that's going to happen on your vacation as well. So, got to go with the flow, right? So, a quick update after just completely giving up on uh, Rise of the Resistance, I pull up the My Disney Experience app, and just like that, there is a um, there's a lightning lane for 7.45, an individual lightning lane. So I purchased the individual lightning lane for 7.45. Uh, it was pretty expensive. It was $22 uh, just for myself. So that definitely can add up if you're a, if you're a family of four or more than a family of four. And after I did that, I knew it was time to book my next lightning lane. So I looked at everything at uh, Animal Kingdom to see uh, if I wanted to make sure I didn't lose any of my opportunities at Animal Kingdom since I'm doing a weird afternoon at Animal Kingdom. And everything seems okay, so I decided to book uh, Toy Story Mania for $2.45. That was not ideal, so I figured I would just keep modifying, modifying, and modifying. And then while I was modifying for Toy Story Mania, I happened to look underneath my modification uh, for Toy Story Mania, and a, a crazy early time for Mickey Minnie's Runaway, Runaway Railway came up for 2 o'clock, uh, which is definitely uh, definitely the better get because Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway will have a uh, more of a chance of going away quicker meaning uh, Lightning Lanes will book up quicker uh, than Toy Story Mania will but this is definitely an interesting tip if for example you want to modify your Lightning Lane you're gonna go to this three you're, you're gonna go to your tip board you, uh, or your, my day whatever uh, you're gonna scroll down to whatever Lightning Lane you want to modify Let's say we want to hopefully get an earlier time for Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway. Modify plan. And then that's the, that's the next time they have available. Currently we have a book for 205, but you can just scroll and continue to modify as new times show up. But the other thing to make sure you're, you're also paying atten attention to while you're trying to grab whatever this modification is, make sure you also have like your peripheral vision is looking underneath here as well. Because uh, currently it's thinking Dog Dash, Lightning Lane has been sold out for the day. But if I keep scrolling or I keep updating, all of a sudden, even though I'm looking for something here, something down here could show up. So <laughs> look everywhere on the screen. Okay, here we go. It's tough to be a bug. Creepy, crawly, bug-eyed adventure. That's very true. This is a really cutie show that takes place in the Tree of Life. You get to put on some bug eyes, which are really 3D glasses, and they teach you why it's important to be a bug and why it's hard and tough and we need bugs because most people aren't like, huge bug fans. So this one is very cute. This is another thing that is being rethemed at some point. This is going to become a, I think, Zootopia show which I love Zootopia, so I'm very excited about that. But again, don't really have dates on anything like that, but of course, Ollie's.net blog is gonna keep you updated on that stuff. So, I'm actually just gonna look at the show times for Disney Junior Dance Party because, okay, I'm not gonna call it that. It's Junior, Disney Junior Play and Dance. For some reason, they still have to sign up. It's Disney Junior Play and Dance. Disney Junior Dance Party was a, was a, a show with uh, singers uh, and characters. I was part of that. That's why I refuse to call it Disney Junior 
play and dance because Digi Junior Dance Party is not back. Uh, 12, 11. 12, okay, 12, 11, 12, 35 is the next show. It's really about a 10 minute show, so I am gonna just get in line for Doc McStuffins. Okay, we're in, we're in, and we have our bug guys. And I'm pumped, I love this show. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's do, let's do Vampirina. Still got 20 minutes before the show. Hi, how are you? So, uh, my name is Sage. I used to be friends with uh, Finn Fiesta at the Disney Junior Dance Party a long time ago. And you guys used to do the Monster Stop together, do lots of air guitar. Yeah, yes, it is. I was running. Yes, absolutely. So, I was wondering if we could take a picture together. Okay, here we go. One of the first people out of the theater, so that way we can rush and head on to Hollywood Studios. I still don't know much. I have no game plan. Um, but I'm excited to be here. So I think Fancy Nancy is the last one we can see before we see uh, Disney Junior play and dance. Pluto's line is absolutely way too long. Pluto meets over here, uh, which he's like one of the Fab Five, so of course his line is gonna be long. But we met three out of the four characters, not bad. Then we're gonna go get a fourth. It's just a 10 minute show. Uh, super duper, super easy, love it. It was awesome, I saw Nancy and she even was like, you know, I like you so much, I wanna give you uh, your own autograph. It was so sweet. All right, let's quickly head into Disney Junior Play and Dance. Yeah! We made it in, I'm excited. Not entirely sure where I'm going. I think, I'm thinking characters because we are gonna have lunch together very soon. So that way we can make sure that we eat but no one gets kind of a leg up. And I, I guess I'll find that boy somewhere in this park. Okay, first things first. Here we are, Fancy Nancy. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in line for old Fancy because she's here and why not? Hello friend, how are you today? Doing good, I'm doing perfect. I get to see you so of course it's a good day. And your lovely outfit, yes. Oh, beautiful. Can we take some photos together? Oh, you like my ears? Thank you. A little bit of glitz never hurts, right? Hey, I'm just gonna keep going down the line. Vamp Harina is out, so let's go ahead and meet our bestie Vamp. Hi, friend. How are you today? Oh, thank you. I love your dress. Oh, you like the black? It, we match pretty well. It's the perfect vibe. Oh, you've even got your necklace on? I love, I have a castle on mine. So something small. Yours is cooler though. So we just should had I change all my lightning lanes to match your lightning lanes? I think you should. I don't think I should. We didn't film any part of lunch. Because we were just taking the time to be friends for a moment and that's okay. Well, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Slinky Dog Dash because that's what's next. Then I'm gonna go to Mickey Minnie's Runway Railway, and then I'm gonna hop over to Animal Kingdom. Oh, you're leaving. Again. I am leaving again, but I'm gonna be back later tonight, okay. so we can, I don't know, hang out, hang out, <laughs> watch, fan watch Fantasmic or something. Yes. All right, we are headed to. We took a little. Uh, we took about an hour break for lunch, maybe like an hour or ten. We had, we went to ABC Commissary, had some good food. We didn't really showcase our lunch or the food because. Well, this is, it's, not, it's not about the food. But in case you're curious, I had the buffalo chicken grilled cheese and Emma had the uh, pork tacos. Those are definitely two of our favorites at ABC Commissary. Uh, literally, I think we get the same thing every time we go. Sometimes I'll get the grilled chicken, but uh, I was feeling a little bit of a splurge because I am moving around today. Okay, finished lunch. We did separate. Now I am going to go ahead and meet the other characters that were back here because why not? I have a few lightning lanes that I'm kind of waiting on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and meet up with Pluto. And he's coming right back, so we're just gonna stay in line. And it'll be super fun. Hi, friend, how are you today? Do I, you see my friends? I'm bringing them with me. I know, my friend and I are trying to see who can do the most in one day, and I get to meet you. So I thought it was kind of, I win anyways. We are back at Toy Story Land. We're gonna hop on Slinky Dog Dash. Then we're going to immediately go to Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway because we have to start our Animal Kingdom journey. Now, I will be honest, looking back at you know our current strategies and because we had to split up this time, we had to start at different parks, uh, I definitely think, and I could be wrong, but I definitely think 
starting uh, to get the most done starting starting at Animal Kingdom at, at 8 a.m. Uh, is probably the smartest route as opposed to hopping back and forth. Now time will tell just things could change. I know Emma has been stacking all all morning uh, so she might just be able to hit a bunch of rides uh, back to back to back to back meet some characters but the, uh, because she's here a little later characters are only uh, you know greeting until uh, typically sometimes around uh, you know five or six so she might she might have missed her opportunity where we have the opportunity to meet a whole bunch of different characters uh, pretty early on so anything can happen but I definitely think Emma had the upper hand by going to Animal Kingdom at 8 o'clock it looks like literally no one's meeting Doc so I'll go meet Doc Mike stuff and she looks lonely and I hate that for her hi how are you friend doing good today perfect me too I'm getting to see all of my favorite friends and you're included of course so. okay while we're over here Star Wars launch bay has three meet-and-greets now they're saying like 20 to 30 the app or the time is not always as accurate so I'm gonna kind of peek in see if it's actually 20 to 30 and if it is we might try to come back later but I figured while we're here we'll just step inside this is where you can meet Darth Vader, Chewbacca, and BB-8. Now you can meet Chewbacca in Galaxy's Edge as well, but here it is a true meet and greet, stop and take photos, whereas in Galaxy's Edge, he's just kind of wandering. He's just kind of searching. Oh yeah, 10 minutes for BB-8. So we'll go ahead and head on in. Hi BB-8, I brought my own droid with me today. Just to say hello, we wanted to check on you and make sure you were good. You're here a lot. Yeah, you good though? Okay, we met BB-8. He was cute and lovely and wonderful. And now I'm gonna see Chewbacca's 30. I don't know that I want to do that for Chewie, but I, I might do 20 for Darth Vader. Because I've got a little bit of time to kill until my first lightning lane here in Hollywood Studios. And this is just about the right amount. 20 minutes. So I don't mind doing this. I don't think. <laughs> Mainly because I'm going to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is right here and it'll save me the steps. We're headed to Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. We do have a lightning lane for it. That is where you break through the screen into one of Mickey Minnie's um, new shorts. Now these shorts are based off of the shorts you can find on Disney Plus. And on this attraction, you're basically attending the premiere of a brand new short that they're uh, uh, debuting. And then all of a sudden things go a little haywire, you break through the screen and you enter their 2D world. It is a trackless ride, but one of my favorite things they were able to do is instead of making 2D things 3D, they were able to make 3D things 2D in a really innovative way through projections and uh, different flat set pieces. It's uh, super unique and I don't think there's anything really out in the world like this right now. I am not surprised to see Thank you. Wow. At my yeah. side, okay. you have power, young one. I you are wise so. to come to me. <laughs> the first step on your path to the dark side. So that took less than 20, which is really exciting because that means it's right about time, like we're timed perfectly for our lightning lane. I'm also very excited because he knows that I love him. I think we had a real connection there. Um, I love Anakin Skywalker so much and in turn Darth Vader. So it's always a good day when I get to get to see him and he knows that I'm powerful and I, I needed to come talk to him. It works out, everything's great. And any day that I can meet this many characters is kind of a really good day. So very excited now to our first ride here. One of my favorite parts about the attraction, and I love it that you exit the same way you enter, you exit out of the screen when you're done. So, the end. Okay, we are, we've got this officially way too close. We have to make it all the way back to our car, all the way to Animal Kingdom, and all the way to Pandora, uh, Flight of Passage, before uh, our individual lightning lane runs out. We were able to purchase the individual lightning lane uh, from 2.15 to 3.15 uh, and I don't know if we're gonna make it. Okay, here we are, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Kind of the park icon, if you will. This one is tons of fun in my opinion. I really, really enjoy it. You get to kind of step into the cartoon with Mickey and Minnie, literally. You go through into the cartoon. Goofy's there, gets a little crazy, 
but really neat. Really cool technology. It's like a trackless ride system, and I'm using a lightning lane for it, which is exciting. Finished Mickey Mini. As always, wave to Walt. If you don't do that, that's a tradition I'm making right now, and you should start doing it because I love it. Okay, we have about 45 minutes until a bunch of characters are done for the end of the day for them. So I'm gonna try to meet several characters, hopefully in the next 45 minutes. I actually got a lightning lane for Tower for 3.45 and I was pumped. And then I realized I got bigger priorities. Tower will be open with later. So I ended up shifting Tower back to like, I think 6.30ish. So now, time for characters. Officially made it to Animal Kingdom. We have like, Five minutes to get to Flight Up Passage. Five minutes to get to Flight Up Passage. And then today the park closes at six, which means we only have three hours to get through as many things as we can uh, at Animal Kingdom. I definitely think we can get through a lot because uh, the best times to do things at the park are right away, um, right when you get here uh, at park opening, whether it be eight o'clock, like Animal Kingdom, or nine o'clock, like talking to the studios, or at the very end of the day. So Emma clearly did the beginning of the day at Animal Kingdom. I'm doing the end of the day at Animal Kingdom. Then we're gonna head back to Hollywood Studios to complete whatever else we can uh, to see what's going on. Now, I know I'm kind of going against what I said when I talked about, you know, we don't have to do the best rides. We just have to do more than Emma. But then, the more I thought about it. Like, but we also wanna make sure we hit some of the best rides in order to make sure we're still having the best day possible. Right? I feel like that's, that's also the other part of the challenge. So we're, do, we're doing as many things as possible, but also, you know, unless I'm wrong, you don't come to Disney just to see the characters. You know, like, hey, I'm coming to Disney World, I'm not riding anything, I'm just seeing characters. And if that is you, that's, that's a really interesting, that, that's a vibe. Let me know, if you, if you literally travel and you come to Disney World just to see like one, if you just well, for one specific thing, if you're like not doing anything else, I'm only seeing shows, or I'm I'm only here for the resorts or whatever. Let me know. I'm really intrigued by that. Now, if our day ended here, right? If like at at six o'clock the challenge was over, I would wait to do this at the very last second. I would have booked it for for five o'clock. Uh, or, or not even book it at all. I would have gotten in line two minutes before park closing, but because we have to go back to Hollywood Studios after this, we need to get this done as soon as possible. Came in to check out Live Action Little Mermaid. Looks like no line right now outside, which is a good sight. Hopefully we can walk right in. It's about 10, 10 15. So not bad. Hopefully, of course. Thank Reminds you. Reminds me a lot of my friend Sebastian. Of course. Speaking of what have you seen him today? I haven't yet. Mm. Normally he'll peer around corners here and there to check in mm. on me. But I have yet to see him today. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. So about 40 minutes until our uh, Navi River Journey Lightning Lane and 20 minutes until we can book our next Lightning Lane. But I have a couple different options here because I, I want to get as much done as possible, but I need to start focusing on the things that are going to take the least amount of time, no matter how great they are. So unfortunately, I think that means I have to skip the safari. The safari is probably one of the longest attractions in Animal Kingdom, not including the shows. Uh, it's about a 20, but not including the line, it's about a 20, 25 minute uh, safari, depending on what's going on with the animals. But the other option is I could take the Wildlife Express, maybe just go to the petting zoo real quick. Walking through, seeing the Percy Jackson stuff. That's so neat and I love it. Met Ariel, it was very sweet. Um, now I will say, it took a little bit longer. It took a little bit over 15. Not the end of the world, but we've got some ground to make up for our time. So I'm hoping to grab at least like Frozone, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, Sully, Edna Mode. That'd be awesome if I can do that. We're nailing it. Uh, big chance I will not meet any of the Toy Story characters today, but that's all right. We'll just have to for, forgo our friends, which makes me sad, but it's a necessity at this point. So. Oh, and the train is here. Amazing. If we can just hop on the train, that will save us so much time. Okay, so even though it's not super close to the time, Sully ends first, technically. So I'm going to hop in Sully's line first. Hi, Sully. How are you? Doing good? I'm doing good too. Excited to see you, of course. Do you mind if we take some pictures together? 
Okay, met Sully. I'm a little awkward with Sully for some reason. I don't know why, but I really like him. He's just real big and I, I get nervous, I think. So now I'm in line for Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. It's a fairly long line, but they count for two, so I don't mind to wait in it. We made it to Rafiki's Planet Watch. There's the baboon himself, Rafiki. Hey, buddy. But the goal is to quickly just spend a couple minutes in the petting zoo, uh, say hi to some goats maybe, wait from a distance, because it's allergy season, and I don't feel like sneezing on goats, or goats making me sneeze. Can I touch you on your back? Is it, will that be okay? Yes. Oh, there we go. Hi, buddy. And when you're leaving, don't forget to wash your hands, because germs, you don't know what kind of germs these animals have. Not to say these are dirty animals, just, you know, germs. Be careful. Hello, how are you? Oh, thank you. Hi. Hello, you're a busy man. I see you're pretty popular, so. You already knew it though, right? <laughs> thank you. Okay, met them, and they even let me take a picture with Mrs. Incredible by myself, and I love Mrs. Incredible, so I was very excited. Looks like Frozone's out, and he has kind of a baby line happening, so we're gonna meet Frozone, because uh, this is his last appearance today, and then hop in line for Edna, I think. He's roaming a little bit today, but Sage got to meet him in line, so I'm, I'm gonna count it, because he was, he did have a line earlier, but she said they're just roaming this afternoon. Sage said it's fine. I think we're actually gonna head back to Pandora. We're gonna get on Navi River journey. We've got about pff, a little hour and a half left before the park closes. <laughs> Feeling good, but I just don't know how Emma is doing. Oh, I don't. Roaming is hard. If you've ever been stressed out by roaming, it's fair. It's a little hard. We are headed to Navi River Journey. Navi River Journey is a slow-moving boat ride attraction that's basically the Pandora version of Kilimanjaro Safari. You are, you are given an inside look into uh, Pandora's lush uh, rainforest, the vegetation, some of the animals. So when I say it's like the Kilimanjaro Safari, uh, it's, it's just like that except it's otherworldly. We're on, the Kilimanjaro, we're on the Kilimanjaro Safari, you're seeing hippos and lions and giraffes here. You're seeing some of the creatures that you might find on Pandora. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick picture? Perfect. Okay, so we met Frozone and it stressed me out. I don't love roaming characters in that sense. It's just a little bit hard to meet, um, but I love it when it's in places like Galaxy's Edge and Disneyland, so maybe I'm just particularly nervous because I don't like stepping over the kids. That is awkward too. Okay, made it inside to Edna. Very little weight. So, pumped about this. And then it's time for my lightning lanes. Hello, how are you, ma'am? Doing well? Oh, which side? This side? Do you like it? It's a lot of black. I have a few incredible colors. They told me to come see you, that so you can fix it up. Yeah, you can do it all. Okay, met Edna, wonderful, I love her. She actually is one of my favorites, and if you don't know this about me, I've literally met her in an Edna costume, like wig and glasses and all. So now, technically the Toy Story lines, have, their last meet and greet started about 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna see if I can kind of peek in and get in line. Just to clear the air, at the time of filming, Cali River Rapids is still down for refurbishment. So there are two rides we cannot do today, that's Rock and Roller Coaster and Cali River Rapids. But if my calculations are correct, he says while he pushes his glasses up, we are late enough uh, into the evening. It doesn't look like evening, but when I say evening, I mean like we're getting to Animal Kingdom closing time. That everything really should be a walk and you can see everybody kind of headed out of the park, which means Expedition Everest. It's tough to be a bug. Uh, everything at Dinoland USA, dinosaur, triceratops spin. Hopefully we still have some characters that are out, but everything should be a simpler wait moving forward. All right, line was closed. That's all right. I had a feeling it would be. We're gonna just head straight on to Slinky Dog and cut our sad, sad losses and enjoy some really good marching bands. most coveted lightning lane of the evening and that is Slinky Dog Dash. It's a really fun outdoor coaster. It's great for kids and families um, and it's actually really exciting and we've had a friend tell us that she thinks this is scarier than Tower of Terror which makes me giggle because I understand fear that is a little silly. Okay we made it to Dinosaur. Dinosaur is a thrilling dark ride where you are 
taken back in time to the prehistoric era where you are trying to steal a dinosaur and bring it back to present times. Unfortunately, you get a little too close to the comet that destroyed all life forms and things go a little haywire. still have this guy with me which is I know probably some people are like ma'am please I've heard enough and it's just I understand but I apparently am now testing the power of this and I want you guys to go along with me on the journey that I'm on so now we have Toy Story Mania left and then I think maybe try to do one or two shows most of the characters are done for the day and then after that lots of rides I guess we're doing okay though I'm not upset with how much we've done today I want to say on my checklist I just checked off like 30 like that was our 30th thing or person I think 29 or 30 tapped in really excited for this one this is a kind of like a carnival shooting game if you haven't done it I really love it and my DJ is about to die so that's all you're getting from that spiel, carnival shooting game. All right, moving on to Triceratops Spin. We are hitting as many things as we can today. Wow, we're hitting a lot. Uh, Triceratops Spin is a Dumbo style attraction where you hop on a Triceratops and you fly. Yep, Triceratops fly through the air because of the magical stars <laughs> underneath it. Now, I forgot who told me, but they, they thought that because you, you see all the asteroids around it, uh, <laughs> It might have been Cassie, maybe Emma, that because of the comet coming down to Earth and basically like causing a big explosion that these Triceratops are actually just like they're flying through the air because of the explosion, which is the most morbid way to think about it. But I think it's hilarious. Did great. Number one in my car and also I was playing alone, so. Okay, I have a little more time than I thought because uh, we keep lucking out keep just walk, walking on these rides, which is amazing. I think this strategy might have worked for me to come the very last three hours of the day, which is awesome. But because uh, we, uh, we uh, I checked the My Disney Experience app and you can always check the My Disney Experience app for character times, uh, show times, all that jazz. I checked it for character times and we do have more time for uh, Chip and Dale, Daisy, Donald, uh, and Mickey and Minnie. They sit here until six, so we'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna actually quickly hit up single rider Expedition Everest and then make our way back to meet some characters. Uh, and then we'll see where the wind takes us. And I'm starting to run out of ideas. And now, now we're just doing what feels right in the moment because we don't actually have a lot left to do. We're We've, I, I feel like we've pretty much co conquered the day. All right, wrapped up. Now, I'm, I think I'm gonna go watch Indiana Jones. The last show is in about 10 minutes. I think I can make it over there. Um, and that's just another thing off our list because a lot of the shows are ending around 5, 5.30. Sorry, the sun is foul. 5, 5.30, 6. Uh, that is one thing I will say is always, always, always check the show times. They aren't always the exact same every single day. No, they always have their like set times, of course, but sometimes those set times change, so just make sure to double check before you guarantee. So like an example, right now, Happily Ever After is playing around 8, and Disney just announced it's moving back to 8.30, so just triple check before you guarantee something. Another thing I want to talk about is that character meet and greets do not go all day, very similar to shows, and I just saw a family like really upset because this is their only day in studios and their son really wanted to meet Woody, but Woody's already gone for the day, which makes me really sad. Um, and so just be aware, like if there's characters you really, really want to meet, check their times because you might not be back at this park again or you might miss them entirely. Double check their times. Don't miss your favorite person. We just made a quick jaunt over to Expedition Everest over in Asia. Currently it's a 35 minute wait, however, because I am here by myself. Uh, I can do the single rider line. And if you are not here by yourself, single rider is still an option, but just know that you are going to just be split up from your party. Okay, here we are, six minutes to spare, but it looks like the cast member might be telling people it's full. 
so. Humongo mistake. Beauty and the Beast ends at five, not Indiana Jones. <laughs> so, hey, remember that thing that I was just like, check the, check the times. Yeah, I thought I did, but I was looking at my list and mixing things up. So we might miss the last Beauty and the Beast show, which is just not great. Hello, hi, how are you? Good, it's good to see you. I think you're a, a fashionista, you're incredible, you're amazing. I do, do you have any uh, style advice for me, necessarily? I mean, I've, I've, got, I've got the wrap around here. Oh, we're giving the full look around. Okay, uh-oh, all right. Asking you shot receive. What do you think? I need, a, I need a necklace. Okay, a necklace, done, I can do that. Okay, I literally, this is the first time I've been down Sunset today, which is just crazy, but I think we're gonna make it. We have three minutes until the show starts. I made it over here in like two and a half. And I have high hopes that we're gonna make it. Okay, we made it. This guy is holding off with your life. I'm sweating. I did not realize what it really truly felt like to like work out in a sweatshirt. And I think I know now. But I also think you guys know I don't work out. What a shame it is that there's like not lines and lines of people just waiting, waiting to see you and your amazing. I mean, I mean, we get it. Yeah. We get it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, turn around. Love the Beauty and the Beast. So good. Love live entertainment. A la Sage. Um, now I will say there's a Frozen sing along that starts in four minutes. It is not the last one, so if you miss it, it's okay. But I was gonna do like Olaf and then maybe you know the sing along at six thirty. Play, play things out. Um, a lot is an hour, so I won't be doing that. But closing thing along, maybe I can make it to it. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Can I can I ask you a question? I feel like we've got to clear the air for a second. I was just talking to Chip and Dale, and they said that you didn't invite them to your Dino Bash. Is that they stink? They stink? That's the whole reason. Oh, oh, okay. They're just gonna be bad the whole time. All right, well, as long as there's a reason. Okay, two minutes to spare. Frozen sing-along celebration. Really, really cute live show where the Arendelle historians teach you the history of Arendelle. But unfortunately, they get a few details wrong. So Anna, Elsa, and Kristoff kind of have to let them know what's real and what isn't. It looks like the only thing we have time left for is it's tough to be a bug. Only like 15, 10 more minutes before the park closes. Uh, it's crazy because uh, Adventures Outpost is still open where you can meet Mickey and Minnie, which would count for two points. But the line is, I mean, 15 minutes before the park closes is, is at 80 minutes long, uh, which we don't have that kind of time because we have to go back to Hollywood Studios because we have more lightning lanes to do over there. Okay, finished on Frozen. Um, sang my heart out. It was wonderful, so much fun. Now, I did not make it to Olaf. It was 6.01 when the show ended, so I did not quite get there. But I did make it for, in like five minutes, the next vacation fun start. So that looks like fun. And then I think I'm gonna do Star Tours, and then it should be time, or a little bit after time, for my Tower of Terror lighting. Now this is one of the few shows you cannot record in Disney. So I am just gonna head over here, pop a squat, and enjoy it. And we are headed out of Animal Kingdom with the masses. And we're headed back to Hollywood Studios. Is it smoky? Why are my eyes foggy? Is it? I smell, I smell smoke too. Vacation fun, really was tons of fun, loved it. Now I'm gonna head over to Star Tours and then it should be about the right time for my Tower of Terror lighting. Finally back at Hollywood Studios. I asked a security guard, I was like, is it hazy here? Well, it, like, all, it's all over Disney World. What's happening? So from time to time, they'll do a control burn uh, at Celebration, which is uh, a residential area uh, very close to Disney. And it is hazy here. It's kicking up some, some things. So if I start sneezing, don't mind me. I made it to Star Wars Launch Bay and it looks like all the characters are here until seven. I thought for some reason uh, some of them went uh, early, but uh, they're all here until seven, which is great. So I'm gonna meet some characters before I have to ride uh, Toy Story Mania, or Toy Story Midway Mania, excuse me. We're gonna start with the shortest line, BB-8. Hi! It's, it's good to see you again, BB-8. Yes, absolutely. 
Yeah, BB-8 and I, BB-8 and I go way back um, on the Galactic Star Cruiser. Understood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again. Do you mind if we take a picture? And just like that, the rest of the Star Wars uh, meet and greets are closed. So let's do One Man's Dream. One Man's Dream is actually in Walt Disney Presents, which is basically uh, another exhibit. Not like the Star Wars exhibit, but it's an exhibit. Uh, dedicated to Walt Disney himself. It's a helpful reminder, a friendly reminder that even though Walt Disney himself says it all started with a mouse, it actually all started with a man back in 1901. We can also find uh, props here and things like that. And they don't just play one man's dream. They actually play sneak previews of different uh, upcoming or new uh, TV shows, movies, what have you. Right now, they're doing a preview of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which is one of Emma's favorites. So we're gonna watch this, get a point, and support her. Star Tours, check. But I only got to film like two scenes because my phone filled up with storage immediately. Here we are, Tower of Terror. Surprisingly, I have started to like this classic Hollywood Studios drop ride. Takes you into the Twilight Zone. It is a little bit scary if you are scared of heights. I just have had to ride it once a week for a long time, so I'm kind of adjusted. But definitely take that into consideration if you're scared of heights. Our day is slowly dwindling with things that we can and can't do based on when things have closed. Uh, there are no more characters meeting anymore, so uh, that takes that out. Uh, a lot of the shows, like the live entertainment shows are over, but those are big time sex. Not a big deal. Uh, I mean, I don't have a problem doing it, but the only show left is uh, Frozen Ever After, which takes place in a couple minutes, but we need to take advantage of our lightning lane uh, for Toy Story Midway Mania. And then after that, we really have Muppet Vision 3D, uh, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy, and Fantasmic. And that, that's all we have left. I mean, I don't know what else, I don't know how else we can make up for time, but I, I, I truly do not know how Emma is doing right now. <laughs> Here goes nothing! This game. Went to the uh, Twilight Zone. It was pretty scary, but we survived. We made it through, and now I think it's time for something more calming. We're gonna completely switch gears and go to Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. I struggled to say that, but I think you know what I meant, right? Here we go. Lightning McQueen is gonna teach us how to race, and Chick Hicks does hijack the system, but you didn't hear it from me. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. We got three more things. We got um, Muppet Vision 3D, Lightning Queen's Racing Academy, and then what well, it'll be time for Rise of the Resistance. We got three more points we can still get in. Other than that, everything is closed. And at that point, it'll be eight o'clock. Welcome to Muppet Vision 3D. 10 minute wait. It's starting to show right now, I think. They usually are. They're, they're continuous shows. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> As I just finished what was probably the greatest race of all time, I see a challenger approaching. And I already won the Lightning McQueen race, so don't even bother. <laughs> you already won? Yeah. You run the race? Y yeah. Wait, what? That's how tired I am. You already run the race? I You're already run, so <laughs> what are we doing? We're done. We're done. We did it! Yeah. Lightning McQueen! Where are you going? Uh, okay. Probably Muppets. I want to see Mickey and Minnie, but they're busy people. Oh, 45 minutes. I know I tried. I said no. no. Um, your patch stayed on. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Even on Tower of Terror, I was like, ah. That's so like, funny. Like trying not to lose it. Right, I've got to go talk to a talking car. And then I only have one more thing after. I have, all I have to do is rise. What is that? What is that? See you later. I definitely think Emma won. There's no way she didn't. Especially with all the extra things she got to do at Animal Kingdom in the morning. Let's go talk to a red car. Letting everybody in right now. Perfect timing. Welcome, racers. Okay, Muppet Vision 3D. One of my favorite shows. Now, I will say. Oh, there you go. One minute. <laughs> to Kermit and the gang, I salute you. Wonderful job, boys and Piggy. I am now going to head to my lightning lane, which I'm in the grace period for, so I'm going to kind of have to book it. And then two more things, and we're going to see where we land. Okay, I see it. Alien Swirling Saucers. I really hope I can It's like literally about to end right now. We made it! This is the best club I've ever been to. 
Okay, what's well, probably the last ride of my night? Heading on to Single Rider for Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run, you get to drive the Millennium Falcon, and it's a little bit like Mission Space in the sense that you get to click a lot of buttons and hope that you get a lot of coaxium, which is, I guess, like energy money. I don't know, but Single Rider it is. We made it to one of my favorite attractions to end our night before Fantasmic Rise of Resistance. We bought the individual lightning lane early this morning. Let's get it. It gets me every time. First to hug from Chewy today, then this happens. We did it. The end of the day. That was a long it day. It was a long day, but it wasn't bad. Well, we'll talk about strategies in a second. We'll say our, this exact. We'll say our numbers at the same time. One, two, three, thirty-five. Mmm. Uh, but we're but we are we are counting. You're counting fantastic. I am counting well. fantastic. All right. Well, solid job. Do you win anything for this okay, experiment? My pride and my pimple. <laughs> Stayed on. <laughs> Stayed Yay! on. Yay! Uh, so I'm, you can say I'm a pretty big winner. All right. Well, we will celebrate by going to see Fantasmic. Yeah. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch our full Game Master tournament up on the channel now. See you there. Bye.